Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Beniza Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams International, we meet behind the Trade Fair behind Zenith College at the Life Cathedral on Sundays in the mornings and then on for midweek services on Wednesdays in the evenings. So we'd like to invite you to come join us. But this morning, I'd like to be a little bit loose, a little be a little, have some fun. The title of my sermon this morning is Abongo Confessions. That is the confessions of a soldier. You remember in Mark 15, when Jesus was crucified, there was a centurion there who supervised the, uh, the crucifixion of Jesus. And in fact, he was the person to make sure that he carried to the letter the, the judgment or the justice system. Everybody knows that was a very uh, twisted justice system. In fact, it was a kangaroo court that tried Jesus. But yet for him, he, just, he was asked to crucify him, so he obeyed it to the letter. And so for him, I mean, he was just carrying out his order, orders. A proper abongo man. But guess what? Now when Jesus is on the cross, when Jesus cried out with a loud voice in Mark chapter 15, that centurion made a statement, and that statement was, it was very powerful. He made a statement, and the statement he made was, Truly, this man is the son of God. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. His confession at the pain, at the time when Jesus was giving up the ghost, truly this man was who he said he was. You know, sometimes uh, it's very interesting. The reason for Jesus being crucified was because of his, his assertion that he was the son of God. And that was the reason this infuriated the Jews. This threatened the Roman government. And this uh, intimidated Herod. And guess what? And this made Pontius Pilate a stooge. Getting in somebody else's chicanery. And somebody else's foolishness. And somebody else's wickedness. Pilate became a part, a participant in it. And even though he was washing his hands, you can't get your hands clean. When you know that that man was innocent. All Jesus says, yes, I am the son of God. For the son of man has come. Yes, I and my father are one. Those were the confessions of Jesus. And that was the reason why he was being crucified. And yet, and yet, at his time of adversity, at his time of great pain, the centurion then comes out and says, truly, this man is the son of God. The principle is very simple. They will recognize who you are. And they will confess who you are. And they will say it. Maybe you might hear it or you may not hear it. But for sure, those who inflict the pain and those who, who, who throw the spears at you, those who throw the arrows at you, they know. They know that you carry something. They know that you're somebody. They know that God has blessed you. All the things they do and all the arrows they throw at you and everything, it will pale into insignificance with their confession. They said, or he said, truly, this man is the son of God. So all the pain that you're going through and all the things, all the denials and everything, and those who inflict the pain on you, God will bring them to the place where they'll make a confession that truly you are blessed. Lift your eyes above persecution. Lift your eyes above uh, adversity. Lift your eyes above the spears and the arrows that people throw. They will confess. Sometimes behind locked doors, sometimes in the open. But God will find a way for their confession to be heard outside. That truly, you are a good person. So all the slander, all the gossip, all the, all the wicked things that they threw at you, it will come to the place where their confession will be heard. That truly, you are a good person. Keep doing the good. Keep going forward. Don't look at them. Don't concentrate on the arrows. Don't concentrate on the spears that they throw at you. For sure, God is doing something with you. And at the end, they'll confess it. 
that you are truly sent from God and that you are truly blessed by God. Keep going. Abongo Confessions are on the way. See you later.